In the history of America, few men have had a greater impact on the religious landscape than Imam W. Dean Muhammad. For nearly 35 years, he was the religious leader for millions of Muslims in America. Through his keen and unique insight, he helped to guide hundreds of thousands of Americans to the religion of Al-Islam. Under the leadership of Imam Muhammad, American Muslims established mosques, schools, and communities in every major city in America, creating a respect and acceptance for Islam in the United States never before known. Join Muslim News Magazine as we take an exclusive look at the life and legacy of one of the world's greatest religious leaders, Imam W. Dean Muhammad. I welcome Pakistanis, I welcome all Asians, I welcome all the Arabs, I welcome Muslims of every color and every nationality, I welcome them to join the following of Imam W. Dean Muhammad. <laughs> Imam Muhammad was born Wallace Muhammad in 1933 to his mother Claire and his father Elijah Muhammad, who was the leader and founder of the Nation of Islam. This was really a, a kind of um, uh, deformity in Islam, uh, created by the teacher of my father, Mr. Farad, who came from overseas, came from Pakistan, I believe, uh, uh, what was called uh, India then. It wasn't Pakistan he came over. He came over before 1947. Uh, and he came to um, uh, really uh, uh, attract poor, lost blacks who had no hope in their future in this country, who never didn't believe that this society would ever give us respect. He came and he attracted them to join him so they can have their separate world, their separate nation. He felt that these people were the people that could uh, be used to build a true, true Islamic society. God saves that. Uh, uh, religion, I have completed my favor upon you and choose for you Islam as a religion. The whole world, you know, had heard of, at that point, the Nation of Islam and this, this group called the Muslims, the black Muslims, you know, in the seat of world power, or at that time, there was, I think there was, there was the, the Soviet Union as well as um, the, the U.S., two superpowers, but one of the superpowers had this very popular, very vocal, very uh, ambitious group that was changing the, the spirit of, of social justice and social action, civic activity, et cetera, uh, in, uh, across the world. You know, uh, there, there's some, some world leaders in African countries and Asian nations that, that, that had made mention that, you know, they were inspired by, you know, the work of, of, of the, what they call the black Muslims in the Nation of Islam. After the death of his father in 1975, Imam Muhammad was elected to leadership of the Nation of Islam and immediately began making changes to align his followers with the orthodox religion of Al-Islam. I studied uh, uh, the Nation of Islam for years and I knew of uh, W. Dean Muhammad and uh, his uh, wonderful leadership in, in standing forth for and calling for the obs observation of and, and the uh, practice of the, the true tenets of Islam and the fundamental principles of Islam. And I admired him for that. A quiet power and strength in this man that I sensed, and I've met many world leaders, and there's that same quality. Well, most Americans, I would venture to guess, have a very unusual conception of the people of Islam, the Muslim in general. It's been a negative one in the past. Can you tell me how specifically you might yourself be working to change this since you've been at the helm of your movement for the past two years? When we open our doors to all people, whereas before the doors were closed to all people except 
Afri people of African descent. Mexicans, even Africans, were not allowed to become members of the Nation of Islam. We open our doors to all people. Uh, <clears throat> we began to identify openly with America uh, to preach respect for the flag and service to the nation. Uh, so these are some of the things, some of the real changes that we have made. And I, 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 I do want people to know us uh, for having made those changes. <laughs> Imam Muhammad introduced many changes during his early years of leadership. He instructed the community on prayer and Arabic, taught from the Quran, and insisted they follow the five pillars of Islamic faith. This led to an incredible transformation which saw nearly two million Americans convert to mainstream Islam and the immediate new presence of more than 300 Islamic centers nationwide. This proud new community began to advocate Islam as a way of life and weren't afraid to show it. Their concerns for change were made public. During the late 70s, Imam Muhammad and his new community ventured out to address the issue of racial images in religion. The program called Craid brought Muslims and Christians together to tear down centuries of negative religious tradition in America. Yeah, I think um, the, the main uh, concern before me, uh, there are many that are connected with these concerns, but the main concern before me is first of, first of all uh, concern for image of Muslims. Uh, from the days of the Crusades till now, uh, we have had problem uh, with our image in the world. Our image, even in our own eyes, uh, has been uh, hurt. Uh, that is, Muslims themselves have contributed somewhat to the incorrect image of Muslims and the life of Muslims. Uh, the religion, the prophet, even the prophet, even the concept of God, as, we, as you know. Uh, so the main concern is correct image, correct presentation of the religion. To me, uh, there is uh, no situation better for us, and it's, 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 it's a God blessing in a way. Uh, though a curse came too with slavery, it's a blessing that we are here in this country uh, that has growing out of its ugliness and out okay. of its ugly past, and uh, growing uh, to be accepted as a, a, um, a reference and a kind of model for, for other nations, especially for the democratic world. It's a blessing that we are here in the significant situation that we are in. I think we, uh, uh, you know, uh, whether we like it or not, uh, we are helping this country in, in a big way mm -hmm. because we, we are the only ones that have, uh, have not been uh, partners in racism. We have never been partners in racism. Uh, it was an attempt to make us partners, but we rejected it. We have never been partners in racism. So because of that, our soul is more natural and freer. Not to say that the Caucasian and other people's right. souls not, but our soul, I believe, is more natural and freer. And uh, because of that, we give uh, human, human character to the soul of America, to the soul of the West, just by the fact of our presence here. So we are loved by even the people that hate us. They love right. us too, you know. Right. They want to see us entertained. They want right. to see our, yeah. So um, uh, to claim America uh, is uh, the second most important thing on my agenda.